Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and this one's on the Rahaga from 2005, of course. So starting out with Nore. Which is the lead one of the bunch. And of course, so as for the Rahaga here, which Almost like the same, like most of the other years of Bonacle, where, where it's the same thing, but just different color, different mask, different weapon, or anything. But in this case, just different color and different staff piece. See, where just the head and the staff pieces, all of which reused from the uh, Rakshi sets, but in the dark Metru colors, There's, of course. So as and of course have the feet in dark red like we've all and well in the dark metro colors like we've seen with the the metro Matori from the year prior of course. So, and also do you have the same limb pieces for both the arms and legs also from the metro Matori, but also with the hand connectors in the dark metro colors, but all which all held on by one rod leading through the whole body there. And also these other technique beams leading to another connector leading to the head parts or to another pair of orange pieces being used as the eyes of course and then onto the center part which it holds the rituka spinner pieces that then lead to the rituka spinner itself and as you would know as but also these of which which all the sets of this year all had And also, and not sure if you can notice on camera, but there are some of the Bonacle alphabet numbers, which, oh wait, you'll probably see that on some of the other sets later, but... And also, interesting thing is that in the Web of Shadows movie, the Rahaka used these as, like, a uh, copter, as propellers on top of them, of course, and to... But, not sure why, but whatever, but... However, in this case, just used as a feature and projectile, but pull on this hard and oh wait, maybe if you pull it hard enough, and then pull on this end, it goes very high up. So of course, quite fun feature that all these had. And that's about it with Doric here. And now, as for the rest of which, this will all be in order of the scene that they were introduced in, in the uh, Web of Shouse movie, which is, so next to which is Gaki, in same but in the dark blue coloring, and also the uh, staff piece of Gurak, of the Rakshis, of course. And also, as you had noticed with uh, with Norik and Aruni, only ones that got to be the Tolahaga sets, but and of course some people did make uh, mocks of the rest of the Tolahaga, of course. Well, just something to say, but yeah. And of course, headpiece in dark blue, oh, which nice useful for mocking, of course. And yeah, that's about it there. And now to Bomanga, oh, which same but in all black coloring, and although the orange accent of which kind of make it a little Halloween-esque, of course, and of course the same piece that the uh, Vorak and Kreka all both had, which and that's about it there. And next to which is Coolis, or Koalas, as some say. But all in white coloring, but also on this one you can see the uh, Matoran universe uh, language there, but used for like Kanoka club points or whatever or something. And of course, same staff piece as the Kurok rock she had, and that's about it there. And next to which is Pooks. But also, interestingly, is in the 
oh whoops, a light metro brown kind of color. And same with the Rotuka's mirror piece. But and of course, oh whoops, one good thing is the uh, Rakshi headpiece in the light brown coloring. Also good to see there. And also useful for mocking. And also hand connector pieces in light brown as well. Also nice for mocking. And then lastly is uh, Iruni. And of course with the Rutuka spinner piece in gold. Quite nice to see there. And of course has the Lee Rock uh, Poison Staff piece He's, uh, there as well. And also headpiece in dark green. And also nice for mocking. Also if you were to make a dark green Hajuka and from the Mari Nui line as well. Also, odd thing with uh, Gaki and uh, Norik, which those headpieces can be used, were reused on uh, Thulox and Morak in that uh, Mari line, of course. And as for Iruni here, and of course, why the gold coloring? Mainly to match with the Toahaga version of him. Since the uh, Tohaga version, of which also did, so, uh, yeah. Right, let me get that all here. So now for my overall verdict on these sets. Is overall, I think these which are quite. Small and quite good sets for how they work. Like, even though, and of course, good, small way, cheap way to get some Rituka Spinner action in them, and of course, but also some of these were also good parts packs for like some of the colors in the light and dark Metru coloring. Well, as for Gaki, Norik, and uh, Aruni, and Pooks, which all have that kind of gone going as color schemes, of course. And of course, the Rahaga as a whole. Oh, which were the wise elders of uh, Metro Nui, of course, and also as were the Tawahaga previously. So, well, in the part of the storyline that hasn't been mentioned or whatever. And of course, good to have these characters in set form, even like this, of course. And also good to have some of the uh, some uh, Rakshi pieces reused at shortly after the, those sets, of course. And, and of course, Nor and of course, Norik, a key important part of the Web of Shows movie, of course. And so now, if any of you oh, would still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and are still looking to get these sets, I'd say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.